up 117 here and we're play right now we're doing Destiny 2 so this is gonna be vlog number one of 2020 now I know I pretty much left behind my channel quite a bit back but it was mainly with family but overall right now I turn back the clock and we're mainly here by ourselves so there's no one around here, but we're just going to start doing the spider bounties because i got to be preparing myself for the Bastion quest since it's been out all over the internet so far. And like, and like the, I do have a couple of stuff that I do pick up and I've also been grinding also in the middle of this, so... But later on, I might be reviewing them things. But here's a couple of previews of the. But now, so that. Uh, so I have. These weapons, which. Yeah, then the trophy hunter is not actually all that bad. But mainly, I'm gonna be using that for a couple of. For a couple of. Uh, you know, lost sectors and. Help me fence down there in Tangle Shore. But notice that also while I'm on the way to go after bosses. But yeah, it's fun the first for the first thing is straight off the bat that I intentionally burned myself out of resources, so make myself harder, so I'll give myself a little bit more of a challenge here. But uh, no data like before that, I'll just and I'll go swap out my rifle. And get, me, get my left of gold and four pull weapon. I was, you see, my audio sounds a little bit weird. Let me change that a bit. Okay, that's a lot better. So, and now we're gonna be on our way down to the Tangle Shore in just a bit. So, I already know that we are, we all have already gotten the Devil's Rune quest, which it happened to be the shortest quest in Destiny's history, but although. Yeah, there is some disappointment over it, but there's some other ways it's not, but... Well, it's Bungie for ya. But... Who really cares, but at least we got a new toy to play with. So... Recording data is easy. Uh, so, while in the middle of this, going to be running Outbreak and Big Juju in the mix of this. I run for a tracer just to make my kills a little bit more easier. So, yeah, so we're gonna be out there che cheesing for once because mainly. Well, actually, before that, if I go go up to Spider, I need to check. How many ghost fragments that none of them. Okay, so I need to start doing a couple of public events there. And we're doing it as a live feed log. So this will be the first one now. Hopefully things will not be as so bad. So we could usually get through just fine. Fine, fine as it is. Um, I forgot I have no glamour. Yeah, so. Meaning, I know the most majority of the bosses, you could pretty much just destroy them down with a sword pretty easy. So, yeah, you can use a shotgun against them, and 
they'll die pretty easy too as well. But mainly this is not my top car current build, but yet they have a current build that is for they want to punch shotgun. Which it then I left most of my went to punch shotguns and cut them out the picture, but fortunately I should have probably kept at least one more sh shotgun with me one to punch. But I could pretty much go back to the moon and then get the get the shotgun. One small step to do the work for me so I could even have a cabal containment cell is about to touch down in this yeah, sector. That insane crazy building can cause the broken damage. missing one? No, I ain't. Huh. It's a crit spot. That's okay. Yeah, that's where it's gonna be speed rushing this the whole time. Yeah, so that's our first fragment, or maybe two. Uh, it's our first fragment. So yeah, so we even we could even get ghost fragments out of high values and chests, but maybe the random chest around here is pretty much random at the point. Very much for now, we're just stuck with the public events so far. See, we got another one, so that's the captain. So, mainly, I need to try to get at least pro probably the top and the most difficult one so far be cleared out of the way, although. Our light levels is pretty much high enough to the point that you could basically destroy it by storm by yourself and not to ever worry or pretty much give a damn about for any day at the point because you basically got you basically got everything. So if I swap to my other spare, the micro mini, I always love it. So, yeah, why is you still just running? Almost kind of like a very basic rifle, universally on the bill. So that's what I'm basically doing for now. I also that. I also got me to go get some rifle some cores for the rifle I have currently. So I can fully upgrade it. At least have two god rolls, but I'm still looking for the one last god roll for the trophy hunter. Which I'll make a video about it for now. But 
No, yeah, but sometimes it is easier. Because it's kind of a little bit difficult to try to get. And I know you only got the season before it disappears forever. And it's such a good rifle to have solo. But uh, for now that we're gonna be preparing for it. So I guess so I guess it is starting from nothing and then gonna be absolute they have everything that we all prepare for it and leave everything there in the quest bounty section. All completed. It's a kill mission right there. I'm your stability businessman trying to make a buck. <laughs> Our mutual adversaries make that. Yeah, but I'll just stop talking for a minute as I try to concentrate around here. Sensors show an inbound fallen containment cell from the prison of elders.
Yeah, okay. So far, I've gained a decent amount of stuff here for the fragments. Perfect, a high value. Time for me to get it out of there. There's nothing else left. Better than attending to the public event. Sensors show an inbound hive <sighs> containment cell from the prison of elders. Take up bad juju for this. Couldn't get back. I think I should have just stunned like the other bosses. Just immediately sort them down. I stacking up in cores. There's the box. Like I said, um, as I was stacking up the cores, I was able to buy enough bounties. Now I know what the maximum limit is: twenty. The things, but I could pretty much go over there to spider and buy my stuff already or be a buy at least one bounty so have five of these things so far but I feel like I got more somehow Uh, 
Yeah, four hundred golds. I don't think that's not going to be the good place to go to. Yeah, I think I'll just pretty much swap up the style for for my rifles. I can always go with Jotun. See, I think Jotun is not a bad option to use against bosses. It's about the weapon that sits right between, kind of like Telusto. Except it isn't so much of a troublemaker as Telusto is right now. Trickster heroic. I don't remember if I could actually do. Shall we make a deal? Do it for a for a fragment. You have good taste. But two of these. Now I could usually buy those for for glimmer. Any core toward um Yeah, sure. I approve. Why the hell not? Twenty five precision blows and tangle sword, it's easy peasy. High if in the jet sound of Saturn. Good choice, my friend. Yep. FLR spirals and tangle shore. Good choice, my friend. I have the perfect shell for that one. Shipyard AWO. I and the Gypsum of Saturn. I think I'll run, run micro May for that. Now, since there's going to be a servitor there. But it's like I on purposely destroy it with single phase. I guess it is. Lost on the edge. Fight for precision kills. Okay, we got that done. They're run my favorite shoddy. Put on my old Yoa version of Foe Tracer. Business is business. Yeah, public event has spawned. Oh, yes, it is. Mm. 
Yeah, I could do the bounties right there. I think I'll just throw on the tractor cannon. Now, I also remember that before that it, in Pearl Decree, it's not, it's not all that bad to, for the option to destroy bosses. Because you could actually have Trench Barrel it just absolutely desecrate the living hell out of bosses, mini bosses, whatever you want with it. No more chest around there. Let's find him. Prince spell kind of reminds me of this old Yo one perk, but that's the one was close and or personal. That's the name of the perk. And originally the perk what it does that temporarily when you land a melee blow on any target, you gain a 25% buff to your melee. And it and it could be a lethal combination with the old Matador 64 or any other shotgun. That's pretty darn good. It's good old times for those kind of shotguns. Although it just run rapid everywhere. I have a couple of those still, still around here. I think I probably need those steady rounds on this. Still a tiny bit jumpy, although it's got zen moments. It's down there. It's probably a good time for me to, to go and swap out the perks on it. Do dance. You know, I can might as well throw back the pulse rifle loader. Yeah, you have to, now half of this stuff there you have to, is pretty much amazing. Now, as it is, you're looking through my to my swift ride, and if you ever notice, this thing hardly has any recoil when steady rounds has been applied. And yet, a weapon with rangefinder and Sam moment is a good thing. At least it'll help you land your shots more consistently. But with steady rounds, it makes it even more consistent as it is, making it a very solid weapon to use all around in general. I'm showing a fallen containment cell inbound near our it current didn't. position. Uh, 
Although things are going to get a little bit boring, but hey, at least I'm trying to prepare for the bounties. Oh, never mind then. I forgot how fragile is the server. There it goes. There is something goes wrong with this use of what's happened. Okay. Anyway, it's always glad that this weapon does have that buff intrinsic perk on it. That getting a kill increased the rate of fire temporarily. And seriously, I believe it might stack up to 4 or 5 times. Because seriously, that's the cap on this weapon. Now, although I could go around activating heroic, but there's, there's no point about activating heroic anymore. So, okay, you see? So, what else I could need? I possibly need. Oops. Okay. Uh, that's fine. You know, so I do need to go down to Shipyard W.O. And do some stuff there. So. Just my, just might as well do, do that for now. But it's almost time for the public event to broadcast. They're too late, but that is okay. I need to get the absolute hell of the way. If not, they're going to squash the round. I'm showing a five containment cell inbound near our current position. That's a decent amount of rounds for me to deal with.
probably got six wipes on this. Can make a count at least. Decent enough around to probably make up for the server kill that we're gonna go after for. But I think I'll probably, I could probably get him down faster since he has a big crit spot. It's a probably just gotta take my time in there. Maybe about another week or two prior for the Bastion quests that happen to require it. If I could actually get rounds for my Sailor page, then it would be even better because I could probably bust it down at least about, yeah, I don't know, four, four to five shots. Since it is now hitting hard as a truck. one of them so far and yeah, say 28 hives so two more will be 30 so seven more hive to go to kill so I could actually get this bounty done I 
the 25 precision blues on Tangle Shore. Got twin drill 25, so I could pop off another two heads off of the trophy hunter just by itself, and I'll probably be done. Also, forget what else is also on the list. And getting these planetary materials for it. Okay, five of them. It's not even hard to do. Okay, so we got the special privilege red art that Bungie gives us to us hunters. That we can see chests and materials on the red art itself. Handles splits poorly. <laughs> thing with snipers now that handle flints so poorly. I've ever been back in Destiny 1 that snipers can handle the flints just about great, but now for Destiny 2 trying to accommodate for the others, who usually gets annoyed by the back lane. I do like it is kind of somewhat understanding, but. They're still needing some in some form of balance in some form of it, but we'll just pretty much just leave it to pretty much the pros to talk about it. Swap my stuff back now. So yeah, then after getting about just about one more bounty set in place, then if they all find a dandy about it, the devil. Go to the high power bounty. Get that completed. And don't ever need to worry about getting for the high value. I try to scrounge around for it. None of them things get around here. Maybe there's some over here for these or if they are expired. There's a chest here. I should probably title this as also collecting ghost fragments.
Ah, we got another public event. We can also do that one too and destroy it. The chest is so much more easier to find than planetary material. <laughs> no chest there, but. We find the material itself. There's two of them things come up there. Oh! Number three, how convenient. On the ground there. Oh, there's another one here. I need just about one more of the things to go. Momentary no notice, the public event should be starting. I just collected this one. 
tempo. Qual é o Odyssey? O que é o Odyssey? Eu sempre amo quando o jogo me mata. Okay. Should have a decent amount of ghost fragments to spend for another bounty. But now, but like they are gonna do all the bounties, but and but leave the high, leave the high value of Rome, roaming ones around. For last, because these are about the most annoying ones. But although that you can leave them for last, but sometimes the the easiest way to try to do to deal with them is you think is to constantly, um, you know, spawn in and spawn back out. I like that, but I think I'm just gonna go and start start off with the ones that's pretty easy to deal with. So let's see. So we got all these options up here. I could even do all these very easy ones. Okay. Console partisan. Well, I just killed him er earlier. I have been feeling these ones for us from last week. Ruined mine. Fragment of forks. Yeah, these are all the ones that's from last week. Funny, but okay. But whatever. The game's usually pretty random. Marvelous. Get the public event ones down and done. Cavern Souls in the EDC. Yeah, sure. Grove of Volanta. You have good taste. So, now hopefully the Cabal public event starts. And... No, I got. I got the hive one, but it's currently active. I could come back to that later on. So let's see what. I, I almost forget what I, what do I got there. So, creating core, core. That's see. So fail safe. So that's there. In Nessus. Go for Ulantan in Io. Consul Protestant there on Tangle Shore. The Pilot Siege Breaker there on Tangle Shore. 
Stare and Thieves Landing. It's these two public events. So, I just might as well go down to aisle first. Since it is relatively easy to beat there. Yeah. To beat in there. Uh, yet then I'll just put on a good air weapon. So I could deal with it in there. I think I'll just might as well put out my one two punch build in. Because why not for you know, for killing a Minotaur? It's gonna make things a lot more easier for me to go by. Yet. And and yes, the other for this season's you know, big pinnacle or more likely known as retro weapon for this season is pretty pretty much is it pretty much the best one so far. It's for Python. I'd like to also try also try out the buzzard. Yeah, that's it. It's all that bad, but it's not the greatest weapon, but it's definitely decent. 5 to 12, I'm about full capacity on this. I need to waste a couple of rounds while I'm here so I could get an overflow bonus. One of the magazines. Oh, he's it's so dark in there. Ah, there it is. special ammo so it should be on 10 on the magazine I don't know what just happened there but I usually do is just climb up what I usually do I just climb up on the area try to go right where the Path where the whisper of the worm is, and just sprint and run across here. Here forever. Uh, pretty much just gonna get out there for now. 
at the roof on with to the other thing to the other one which would be somewhat of royal real pain to do but it, it just really depends how the environment is so what is my Glade of Echoes. Okay, so that's a decent place to do so. It's not too good for me to go get my heavy there, but I'll still keep a, a decent amount of tractor cannon ammo to suppress them and then start to, you know, want to punch them. And then, all set that, that I know there's going to be a couple of fanatics, or not fanatics, uh, fanatics, that's what I call them, uh, that the fanatics is going to be running around, exploding everywhere. So like the, having a weapon with at least, you know, like an outlaw code, could have a rampage, or, yeah, you know, outlaw V frenzy, or, or V for, not, I love me for example, Fiend Frenzy multi kill clip to keep these guys down at bay. This is usually a good thing. Or you they have is something kind of like the cold front. Now, now you then, although the dawning had just ended, this is pretty much the only thing I would probably best have in my, my parent. My opinion because mainly it's it's probably only got the only best thing to boost up the stability it's level sorts of 50s in its um in its range is about 48 in stability which by the time it gets fully upgraded it should be right about like 52 53 in stability because it's on Masterwork 5 for stability. But yet the cold front is never all that bad, but the only problem with 750s that are legendaries that they have such bad um <laughs> what's it uh stability status but with this one having barrel options this one's pretty much going to be the only best to fit the out there if you happen to get mostly stability out of it. And that moment is not all that bad of an option to have. Oh, that's a mess. Got to clear everything out. What just happened here? Is that okay. Not gonna question that. <laughs> I think there's there's enough enemies up there for me to that's a one punch build. <laughs> one to punch this guy. Oh. Oh, 
Okay. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. I'm in a bad spot. I forgot that's where they all spawn at. No, there's only one more around here somewhere. All the enemies cleared out. <laughs> That's one of them. Yeah, what well, I could probably do for now is immediately swap exotics. I have Xenophage. Use it against some oracles. Stopping me. I don't know what to stop me. But he's in the way. See me say everybody's not dead. Go. is so high up that I can hardly see the oracle. I suck that to go all the way back up there. That did it for one of his oracles. the last one is. Or I could be completely staring at him in front of my face the whole entire time.
It's a huge miss down there. There's about all of them right now. So things might be taking a little bit longer than intended, but that's okay. So now I only down to the last two, so I got about eight of them so eight of them so far out of the the entire day and weekly. Now I got to see what's back there in the Tingle Shore, and I think I may just wrap wrap it up for uh, at the words I if I can actually get these two now. But seemingly that the Cabal one is a little bit less common, as I notice. Although it should have been rotating all around the area like originally supposed to. Uh, okay. But like there could have been a disaster if I would have died in there because then it would be just under power with the heavy. It'd be constantly struggling in there. You know, it's I'm not really bothered to do with the fells and the symmetries catalyst. You know, they take quite a bit of time to grow, to grind out. But yeah, you know, you know, since I did the um, part of the quest, I never even bothered to do clean getaway. But yet, the the quest itself is very simple, and straightforward. Because you think getting kills the SMGs and getting the medals then getting all the random kills that you that could be anything and regardless what weapon kills or not but so and yet then I just been all doing the purely with shotguns but yet then Lord of Wolves was not really a bad uh, bad idea to run with I have a feeling by the time I Get here and may start. Or not. Just wanted to follow up. It's just this public event alone by itself. So, yeah, so I'll be start doing vlogs. I'll be doing vlogs, uh, just doing random gameplay like that, pretty much for now. Because it is really hard and tough to try to figure out, you know, what to actually do to focus on one activity. 
but threw it up by gold. <laughs> it's not really all that bad of an idea. Although I've been a lot banned pretty much, I don't know, a little late, I could pretty much say, for Darren on Destiny 2, but. But if I want to go back to Destiny the 1, from the prison of elders. then like the things would be much different. Doing Destiny 1 vlogs and then doing Destiny 2 vlogs, but. I don't know what the hell am I banned for at Destiny 1. Because. Yet I really don't know, and I have like a couple theories about it, but but also that I also remember Destiny One. There's a, like a ton of broken stuff you could do back there that you could get people pissed off to the point that you throw the controllers at the TV screen. And yet I was one of these people that used to try to find some some legitimate reason to. To make a build that would really cause some heat. Because I remember back at Rise of Iron when there was the artifact called the Felt Winter Slot. Well, Lie is the shotgun, but Fe Memory of Felt Winter. 